This shoe is actually a phone. Hello? I don't know what I'm talking about, but the shoe is about to be a cape. Which, you know, sounds about as crazy as the phone thing, but it's true. I'm about to turn this shoe into a cake. And oh my goodness, this is gonna be a hard one. I mean, look at this fur. How am I gonna make this fur look real? I'm just gonna figure it out. Wing it, see what happens. I don't know. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a fuzzy shoe cake. What edible material can I use to make this fur? Got any ideas? I bet I know what you're thinking. I'm about to read your mind. Do you think that I should use cotton candy? That's a great idea, but I'm not gonna use it. Let me explain why. So cotton candy is a wad of spun sugar. And once you take cotton candy out of its sealed bag, the moisture in the air causes it to shrink after about like a half hour or so. I know from experience, and let me tell you, I already know that I wouldn't be able to place the cotton candy onto this shoe cake in a way that looks realistic in such a short amount of time. It's not gonna happen. Because I've tried working with cotton candy before, and what I just described is exactly what happened. I can't use cotton candy, so I'm gonna have to come up with another way to create edible fur. And since cotton candy won't work, I'm gonna do something crazy, like cake crazy. I'm going to attempt to hand sculpt the fur out of modeling chocolate. Now, if you've ever tried to draw hair or fur in a realistic way, then you know how hard it is. Well, hand sculpting hair in a realistic way is even harder than drawing it. Like, think about human sculptures throughout history. The faces look gorgeous, very realistic, but the hair, meh. It never looks quite as realistic as the rest of the sculpture. That's because it's really hard. But you know what? I'm gonna go for it anyway, because I love a difficult challenge. And because I can't think of any other way. <laughs> you guys will forgive me if it isn't perfect, right? I'm just gonna try my best. Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. For as long as I can remember, I've been creating art. And the most valuable thing that has helped guide me and my artwork has been critiques. Now, before I get into it, I want to point out that there is a big difference between a critique and an insult. A critique is when someone gives their honest opinion because they think that it might help make someone else's artwork better. An insult is when someone says something just to be mean or disrespectful. The reason I find being critiqued so valuable is because I see things the way that I see them. And all of you have different perspectives than me. You guys come from all over the world. You're all different ages and you come from different backgrounds. It's fantastic. So when you let me know when you like or dislike something that I make, it helps me think about my artwork in a way that I may never have considered. And that makes my art better. <laughs> So thank you all for sharing your opinions in the comments. They're incredibly helpful, and I do have a lot of fun reading them. Over the years, my work has been critiqued a lot in art classes and at art and cake competitions here on YouTube. And another reason that I think being critiqued is a good thing is because it's helped me gain a thicker skin. So when someone does say something that's kind of nasty to me, which happens to all of us at some point, I can just brush it off and move on. Then I can get back to work. Do you guys get what I mean when I say having others critique your work is good? Like, think about it this way. You just created something, and then you get some negative feedback. Now, two things can happen here. The first is you consider the negative feedback, agree with it, and then you make adjustments to your work. Now, that's a win. The second thing that can happen is you consider the negative feedback, and you honestly disagree with it. Well, that's a win, too, because that means that you're truly backing the art you made because you've taken the time to consider criticism of it and you still like it. You like it the way it is. It's a great feeling to have that level of confidence in your own work. The only way that I can truly feel confident in my own artwork is when I've considered criticism of it. Now enough about the negative critiques, let's talk about the positive. All of us can really help out a creator by giving a positive critique of their work. 
When people let me know what they like about my cakes and why, then those comments stick with me. You and I, we go back and forth. You give me your thoughts, and those thoughts help me come up with new cake ideas. And I want to let you all know that husband Dave, who does the editing and filming on this channel, reads your comments too. He's come a long way since we started this channel. He didn't have any experience editing, and he had to teach himself along the way. It's not an easy thing to do, but I have to admit, he's gotten so much better. Like every time we make a new video, I think the editing looks better and better and better. Proud wife. And when all of you let him know that the editing looks good, or if you have a suggestion about how it could be better, we love to hear it. We want to make better and better videos. A cake can be super cool, but if you guys don't like the video itself, then it doesn't even matter how cool it is. This is a, a total teamwork situation between the three of us. Me, you, and Dave. <laughs> Husband Dave, that is. A cool video doesn't mean that the cake's cool. Now, I don't mean to get too sappy here, but we really, really do appreciate you. To me, your positive and negative critique of my cake art in our videos means that you guys just want us to make the best art that we possibly can. And in response, we want to make the best art that we possibly can for all of you. And there you have it, a shoe cake with fur. I really love the sole of this shoe. That pink gradient is cute. All right, let's cut the cake. Give this video a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this channel right now because husband Dave and I post a brand new cake for you every week. And I'll see you next week for another cake.